okay. Come on. Going home? Did you wait for her? We thought she went home with someone else. We wanted to wait for her. Honest, we did, Mrs. Coster. Again, in this case, as in the others, the only clue is the missing shoes. I promise you, your police force will find this murderer. To prevent other such crimes, your police department has prepared five don'ts. Don't let your children accept rides from strangers. Sometimes these are one-way rides leading to death. The amiable stranger may be a killer. Don't let your children accept presents from strangers. A bag of popcorn or a candy bar is not worth your child's life. Don't send children on after dark errands. 
The night works in behalf of the killer who preys on our young. If you must have something from a store after sundown, get it yourself. Don't let your child play unattended in wooded places or empty lots. Though your eyes aren't on him, someone else's may be watching. Don't let your children become friendly with Pop, that nice old character in your neighborhood. Most of these men are harmless, but there are exceptions. It's up to you to make sure your child isn't the victim of one of these exceptions. And now for one all-important do. If you notice any suspicious characters lurking around schools and playgrounds, do call at once your police department, Central 5000. The life you save may be your child's life. You have just heard Police Chief Regan making a... What does he mean the kids were neither violated nor outraged? What's the difference? He killed them, didn't he? Can I get your name in the paper? There's a crosswalk 15 feet up the street. Ordinance 236, jaywalking. What's your name? Hey, what are you picking on me for? A million people every day jaywalk. What's your name? Harry Dennis. Harry Dennis. Address? 2254 West 6th Avenue. West 6th Avenue. Okay. 9 o'clock Tuesday. That's a cop for you. Hands me a ticket while a baby murderer runs around loose. Why don't they do something about him? My! Thanks, mister! Uh, as long as you didn't hurt yourself. Ouch! What's the matter? I hurt my ankle. Oh? Well, come. That's it. where she lives. Why, I was only trying to... The child, her foot. What about her foot? It looks like to me. What is it all about? Who did what oh, to her? Oh, first. I saw him first. He, he grabbed a, a kid and tried to take her shoes off. Did you say shoes? Tell them. Shoes. Tell them I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do anything. I swear I didn't do anything. I tell you, Mayor, we're doing everything possible. We may pick up that murderer in the next five minutes or we may never find him. All we can do is follow every lead. You're not dealing with a punk or a tin horn. Usual procedure won't work. <laughs> Catching this man is, is going to take brains, imagination. Maybe you have some ideas we can use. Ideas? I got a million of them. It's not my job to run this department. It's yours. I got a city to run. This is only one department. <laughs> People in the city depend on me for transportation, for hospitals, for sanitation. Not to go out and catch this murderer. Yeah. Send him in. It's Carney. He can bring you up to date. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, I haven't got him yet. Of course you haven't. You know why? You're not thinking it through. Now listen, take a tip. Use this. Put yourself in Keller's place. What would you do if you were Keller? Figure that out and you've got your man. Could be, Your Honor. Brains! Imagination, just like I was telling the Chief. Meanwhile, though, it's all right if I continue the raids all over town. Sure, sure. Can't do any harm. Put a scare into the punks and the tin horns. Good for them. Well, I gotta leave now. I'm ten minutes behind schedule. Gotta open a big supermarket. Now remember, brains, huh? <laughs> Imagination. Spencer, get the escort. I'll be right down. Is he gone? Yeah. Can't blame him, though. The papers are really on our necks. The ordinary murder, you look for a dame or a bank book. 
Got a victim with known enemies. What do we got? The missing shoes. What are we looking for? A man with a twisted mind. Could be anybody. What's going on? None of your business. Not so fast, buddy. Here, Not take so your fast. hand off me. That's all right, honey. All right, let's go. I thought he was the kidnapper. Quit shut. I don't know. I... I don't know. Homicide, this... Finley. I can't bring him. Now, see, this kid comes walking by the street. Oh, yeah. She's wearing a blue dress. Miss Jean's yeah. not that wrong. She was wearing a red dress. Look, lady, I ain't color blind. So this kid in a blue dress comes along. It was a red dress. What are you, a communist? <gasps> and as soon as I get in this guy's car, I see a little pair of shoes hanging from the dashboard. So I get out and run. But not before I had a chance to get his license number. Thanks, sister. You gotta remember, the 10,000 of those gilded shoes hanging in cars in this town. But there was something about this guy. A look in his eyes. Fresh. Come on inside. I just washed out the last bum we picked up. Then we ought to widen the field. Bums don't suit for false arrest. We keep on picking up bums, and the guy we're looking for could be a professor, a storekeeper, maybe even a cop. We look for him in hunky tonks, and he could be on a golf course. There's a new batch to check on him. The asylums are finally sending in lists of men they've released who might be involved in this kind of killing. Laws, files, reports. I'll trade them all for one good stool pigeon. Maybe you'll find your stool pigeon at the night shakeout. Yeah, Carney speaking. Yeah? Where? Shoes again, huh? 131D, Walker. Another one, six. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That my baby. We read about those other children in the papers, but our baby. It could be anyone's child. Anyone's. Nobody's safe. Such a beautiful baby. Her hair was so long. Like silk, when you touched it. If we need you, we'll get in touch with you. Thank you. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's somebody else's. Now we're really in for it. A councilman's grandchild. I tell you, we've got to find that killer. Maybe tonight, Chief. Maybe one of the raids. Do you really think? No. Uh -huh. Of this program, but our time is up.
Be with us again tomorrow evening for an hour of classical music. And now for a message. Down this to find him. We figured it might be one of you. Anybody lose anything? I'm going to ask some questions and I want some straight answers. I'll take you one at a time. You first. Mary Larkin. Please, my mother. They're all orphans till you pick them up. I bet she's got an arrest record as long as my arm. Is he right? No, honest. It's the first time I ever... Please let me go. Get out of here and don't let me see you again. Five will get you six, you will. Go. Next. Name? Greer. Harry Greer. I'm a salesman. I just happen to be in the neighborhood. Yeah, how's business? Could be better. Things are bad all over. I haven't seen a paper all day. Two across, blue top, fifth temperament. Five to win, Raja, six to church. Better stick around, Greer, until we get the later edition with the final result. What are you doing down here? Schlumming. <laughs> Next. Hey, that guy, isn't it? Langley, Dan Langley. Good lawyer, used to be. But... Who's next? Mabel Smith. Uh-huh. Boys, I asked you here to catch you up to date on my thinking about these baby killings. Very smart. You're a very smart man, boss. <laughs> I had this figured. Thanks. I always welcome your opinion, Rigget. But just why did you think I'm smart? And what was it you had figured? Well, you rigged the killings, didn't you, boss? To take the heat off us from the grand jury, didn't you, boss? <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. The heat's off us, ain't it? 
We're off the front pages, ain't we? The grand jury's investigating the cops instead of us. Ain't they, huh? <laughs> ain't they? You know, I'm glad I'm smarter than you think I am, Riggett. Sorry I'm late, Charlie. I stopped in at Nick's for a drink. <laughs> the place was veritably crawling with coppers. I'll take that. Thank you, Charlie. I need a shot. I'm glad you're here to defend me, Dan. Rigger just said that I'm the baby killer. Oh, I, I didn't mean you personally, boss. Make me a I case, thought... counselor. I'll need that glass. Make me a case. Gentlemen of the jury, I'll be brief. I know we're all anxious to get away. I myself have a very important case waiting. A case of scotch. But believe me, gentlemen, this is the most important case since I went to the bar. Mr. Marshall here is not only my client, he's my friend. I've known him for years, since he was a boy. He was a good boy, good to his mother. Gentlemen, you have the faces of honest men, good judges of character. Look at my client. You judge for yourselves whether he would be capable of these heinous crimes by simply asking yourselves whether you, you, for instance, would be capable of killing an innocent baby. <laughs> Careful, Langley. There's some things I don't like. Exactly. You see, Rigott, the thought of these murders turns even Patsy's stomach. Imagine the feelings of the general public. Your average citizen isn't too concerned whether the police catch us or not. Lest the press stirs them up for political reasons. Because in one way or another, we service almost the entire community. But when it comes to catching a baby killer, they want action from their police department. And that's what I say. They're on the spot. So what do they do? The counselor here has told us what happened at Nick's. How's your floating crap game, Sutro? Just floating. Keeping its head above water, but that's about all. A few of the boys got tabbed, so they've been laying low. That's what I thought. McMahon? Same, or worse. You know, you can't even show your face around a high school nowadays. Patsy. Why does the cops get the idea that baby killers play slot machines? For sure, boss. It's the same with us. They've been tapping a lot of our little bookies. Cigar store, barbershop stuff. Bring it. Excuse me, counselor. What do you think that means? People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones? <laughs> I don't know, boss. I... We're in a business with a take of millions. From Patsy's slot machines to your wire service. Now, these are the runners, the pickup men. They collect the first money. These are the drops, the district offices. This is the center, you boys. And this is me. We're on the top there. Rigert, you think everything is lovely just because we're not in front of the grand jury and your face isn't on the front pages. Sure. Yeah, sure. But now look what happens on the top there, when the bottom is knocked out. Now do you understand? Clean up the mess, counselor. So what, boss? The police department answers public pressure by raiding us. Raids, raids, and more raids. They're on the spot. Well, to protect ourselves, we've got to take them off the spot. Where do we get off helping the cops? Who ever heard of something like that? I'll admit it's a situation we could never have anticipated. Force majeure. Force majeure. Thank you, Counselor. An act of God, Sutro. But it can't go on. As long as this man is running loose, we can't operate. Who do we frame? Mm. No frame, Rigott. 
This killer isn't going to stop just because they make an arrest. We have got to find them and stop them ourselves. Oh, we ain't going to help the cops. We're going to be the cops. We've got the organization to keep an eye on every child in this city. Our runners and pickup men are on the streets all the time. We've got drops in candy stores, barber shops, newsstands, shoe shine parlors. We've even got our own radio system, our cabs, the Ajax outfit. With that two-way system, they cover this town. Well, I see it. My boys will be dishing out a third degree for a change. <laughs> They're gonna like that. What an operation this is gonna be. That's right. A major operation. Operation M. M? I don't get it. M for murderer. Dope. All right, now you know what to do. Here's one for you. You. Yeah, yeah. Keep your eyes open when you're out there on the street, particularly when you're in the alleys. Ninety-three, Bob. I'm depending on each of you boys and your gangs to watch his own territory. No chiseling, no arguments. You can start your fighting again after we find this guy, get me? Yeah, sure. Okay, boss. Right, boss. Remember, the minute you make this guy, call my number. Any Ajax driver will give you a hand. Meanwhile, we're going to take care of expenses. Thanks, boss. Ajax, 48 again. False alarm. Everything's okay. I picked up that bunch in the Lation Hospital report. They're in Graham's office now. Good. You play games with them, rub their heads, and turn them loose. What does he expect to get out of them that way? You got a better way? Yeah. A dark room and a rubber hose and about a half a dozen cops. The courts don't like it that way. Yeah, that's just the trouble. We need less courts and more cops. Well, I got some more loonies to look up. How come if they're psychos, the hospital turns them loose in the first place? the law. They're cured. No, oh, they're cured. A fat chance a cop's got to make a pinch stick. Laws, courts, skull tappers. Head, front. Green, red. Sing, song. Shoes, stockings. Water, uh, land, string, choke. Tell me what you see, or what it could be, or what you imagine it to be. I see two teddy bears. A Christmas tree in the corner. A man with a bandage on his head. 
and flames rising in the air. And a sword. Sword. And a horse with with his hoofs in the air. All right. Thank you. Any leads in that bunch? Just the one. The fellow that answered choked a string. Probably won't mean anything. Well, what are you looking for? What kind of a man? Probably a schizophrenic. Possibly a paranoid schizophrenic. Maybe a borderline case. But in any event, a very sick man. Frequently, this form of mental disease can be traced back to the patient's childhood, to some severe emotional injury he suffered. You mean what Carney's men call psychos? Tinglings? <laughs> well, in picturesque lay language, uh, possibly yes. This man lives in a world all his own. Within that world, his ability to think clearly need not necessarily be affected. Well, what about the missing shoes? What does that mean? Well, for Carney, they provide a clue to find the man. But I have to find the man before I can get a clue to the missing shoes. Then that, too, may have resulted from some childhood injury or serious neglect. Something happened then that made shoes a detonator that sets him off. All right, come on. Thanks, Doc. So long, Doc. some time in a hospital. Oh, yeah, that's right. He does talk about his headaches a lot. Well, that's what I want to talk to him about. I thought maybe he'd like to go back to the hospital for some more treatment. Oh, uh, Mr. Harrow ain't in. Do you mind if I wait for him? Well, I guess it's all right. Oh, that's my dinner boiling over. Uh, just down the hall, second door to the left.
Hello, honey. But you should wait for me at home. Waiter. Waiter. Whiskey. Bourbon or rye? I don't. Any kind. in the state hospital seven months ago. Harold wasn't in. Conducted a search of his room, nothing suspicious. Just the same I may have he picked up later on anyway. Hobbs, living with his parents, has a perfect alibi. Okay, okay, that's enough. Dead ones, missing ones, men with perfect alibis. Maybe nobody committed these murders. Ah, oh, everything's gotta happen hey. to me. Maybe I'm nuts. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Let's get to work. Nothing at all, just the same. Just the same, there's something. Music? Yeah, some tin whistle. So what? Some guy and a little kid. It's him. It's him, the murderer. I heard that song before. He's the man that bought the balloon the day that Elsie Costa was murdered.
I'll show you a trick. sidekick here. His chick's two-timing and we're just doing a little checking. Yeah, well, I think I'll do some checking myself. Say, you, come here. Charlie, they found him. They spotted him. Hey, Tim, okay. I'm telling you, Tim, I know the old man's blind, but he can hear all right. Stay with him. There's a C-note for you if he's the right man. the value of organization and knowing how to run it. Call Ajax. Have the dispatcher notify the drivers to pass the word around quick. It's in the bag. Doesn't this call for a celebration? Don't mind us, Counselor. Drink yours straight from the bottle. Becker staked out in Harrow's room as a general alarm out. Plainclothes men are blanketing the district. The uniform division's making every downtown saloon. We'll pick them up, don't worry. We better. The mayor's on his way down here. His statement ought to make the morning papers. We'll pick him up, but then what? Back to the booby hatch? A man like Harrow should never have been released in the first place. Hospital's so understaffed. They freed dangerous men. But they won't get out this time. He'll burn. That's right. That's right. That'll fix everything. No, 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 you must We're still playing our game. I'm tired. No, no. Well, you've been hearing this kind of 
kind of gossip. Ah, look, old Pop. Oh, you can eat everything here. Don't kid me. Well, have a good time. Have See a good time fishing, Pop. Thank you. Come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. Did you see a guy run through here? Ah, uh, nah, beat it, kids. No one came in here. Hey, Pop, look. All right, now, boys, get, get. No kidding, Pop. He's a dangerous character. Yeah, I know. It's the baby killer. Yeah, yeah, you're so smart. Well, that's who it is. Beat it, beat it. You stay here. Right. You guys go get Doug and the boys. Okay, come on. Keep the place covered. Somebody will be around in a few minutes to give you a hand. That's all. What a break. He's inside, we're out. What do we do now, call the cops? We're going after him. Yeah, sure. And tomorrow we crack what knocks. Maybe Sutro's right, boss. Maybe we ought to tip off the cops. I said we're going after him. Mac. Yeah? Get down to 3rd Street. Call me when you know the score. Patsy? Yeah? Line up your muscle men, some boys who can crack a crib. Have them bring their kits. Well, what are you waiting for? Get going! Do you know your gate's unlocked? Huh? Why, well, sure. I? Maybe those kids... Open up. Quick!
don't want to get hurt, all you got to do is answer a couple of questions. How many watchmen in the building? <laughs> How many? Just me and the engineer. Chance he got scared off? No, nobody could tip him. I got the phones tapped and the joints closed up tight. Yeah? Oh, that's bad. They haven't found him yet. Who's talking? Tell McMahon that Marshall will be right there. Stay here and watch the phone, and for once, stay sober. Only way to do a thing right is to do it yourself. They have to be punched every hour. McMahon, take care of the alarm boxes. They're on every other floor right there. Get moving. Now, what's been covered so far? The basement and the first three floors. We haven't got all night. Sutro, break down doors. Go into every store. Check closets, offices, galleries, everything. Now, go on, get moving. Anybody search that? How could he be in there? Lemke, get it open. Yes, sir. Not that way, idiot. Don't you see it's wired? Drill it down from above. OK. The rest of you get started. Half a floor apiece. Break okay. off. Okay. Okay.
further description of the suspect wanted for murder. Martin W. Harrow. Use caution. The suspect is a probable mental case. Male Caucasian, 30 to 35 years, 5 feet 7 inches, 150 pounds. He has light hair and blue eyes. Wearing a dark suit, a tie, and a gray felt hat. He was last seen at his rooming house at 1302 River Street at approximately 10.30 a.m. this date. Is Becker back yet? All He's on his way back, sir. Three, five, six, eight. Find out where she lives and take her home. But be careful, they'll be watching. Go ahead. Boys, go get him. Clean out the place, everything. Come on.
There's no one down here. Someone give me a hand. Troubles of your own, but I need help. Troubles? We had him and he got away. I can't figure it. Nothing makes sense tonight. Look at this. Attention all units. Further description of the suspect wanted for murder. What's it all about? A gang went through the Bradbury building with a vacuum cleaner, busted down doors, broke into the jewelers, smashed into every closet. And they didn't take a thing. But the engineer says he saw a man being dragged away. Since when did hoodlums go in for dry runs? I see you picked up Lemke and another man. This Lemke has a record about a foot long, but this other guy, this Jansen, he's a bookmaker. How does he figure in a deal like this? I wish I knew. What do you think I can do? Well, they won't talk. They know all I've got on them is a break and an entrance wrap. I figure if I bring them in here, you know, Homicide Squad might give them a scare. Tell them the watchman died or something. Well, give it a try. Can't hurt. You know how I feel. Give me ten minutes alone with them, they'll rat on a mother. Nuts? The baby killer, John. The baby killer. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, I call you because... Well, let's be realistic, John. We aren't so far apart in our thinking about the police department. I enjoyed that series that you ran. Yes, we want you to have an exclusive story. Hmm? Well, pictures, by all means, by all means. Now, John, just a minute. Naturally, we want you to remember this one thing. We want a break when the grand jury starts on us again after this is over. We want to remind the public who caught the baby killer. You see what I mean? Fine, John. Fine. Now, I'll tell you what you do. If you'll send your best reporter, uh, maybe that fellow who, uh, uh, that's the guy. Have him on the northeast corner of 7th and Broad in a half hour. Yeah, he'll be picked up in a gray Cadillac sedan. Thank you, John. Thanks very much. Sutro, McMahon, go pick him up. Rigger, get the car. Not this time, Lemke. Keep moving. This time, it's homicide. Homicide? What am I doing in homicide? This is it. Two mugs like you. Butterfingered crib cracker and a piece of bookie. Mixed up in a murder. A murder? I. I was sleeping. Don't stop him, Lepke. If you talk now, the judge may go easier. I don't know nothing. Hit the watchman on the head, you cracked his skull. You sent him to the morgue. Morgue? Me? Why, I... I never saw the guy before. 62, 381 East Diamond. Uh, 62, 381... I don't know nothing. A man down in the street. You don't know nothing either, huh? Nothing. You sure stepped out of your class, Johnson. Ten years for breaking and entering. Twenty years for kidnapping. The chair for murder. Vinay, 324 South Main. 118-324 South Main. See the man about a 484 suspect. All units in the vicinity of 3rd and Division. All units in the vicinity of 3 and Division. Over now. 31, take the call. You did say they kidnapped the man, didn't you? Hey, did you hear they got the, the guy? Sure they got the guy. 
That's what they broke into the building for, wasn't it? That's why, wasn't it? That's right. That's why. We didn't go in there to heist the place. All we wanted was him. Ah, shut up. Sure, Jensen, shut up. 20 years, 30 years, what do you care? All the time you're in there, you can be glad you kept your mouth shut. Well, I ain't doing 20 years for nobody. Not even for Charlie Marshall. I'll tell you what they were after. It was the baby killer. Why, you know... Her. Where'd you work? A building or in the street? What'd you do? Covered one entrance. Towards the south button. What you gonna do with him? What's it to you? You got your dough now? Beat it. Ain't no peep show. You've been paid off now. Scram. You guys want a hole in the head? I told you, scram. Now, scram. Who are they? What do they want? You remember this? The balloon you bought, Elsie Costa? Baby face! Baby face killer! Legend! <laughs> Clear out of here, all of you, before you bring every cop in town down on us. You've done a great job and you collected for us. Leave the rest to me. I'll be in help catch him. We want to know what you're going to do with him. What's he doing here? Go on home. This ain't no place for a day. I got kids of my own. I want to know what you're going to do with that man. Hey, no man. He's a rat. Let's string the rat up. Yeah. 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 You stupid crumbs. You got any brains? Use them. Cops are on a spot about this worm. If we kill them before they get to them, well, you know what'll happen. I'm gonna turn them over to the cops in my own way. And they'll have us to thank for it. <laughs> See that? And they'll thank us for it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that cops don't do anything for us. That cops don't give us medals for this. Yeah, they'll collect our bets for it. That guy's dead when the press gets here. It could mean a murder rap, couldn't it, boss? You're way out on a limb, boss. You call that newspaper guy personally. That makes you personally responsible. 
I guess they'd be happy to pin a murder rap on you personally, wouldn't they, boss? That bottle is getting in your way, Counselor. Now start talking. Don't try to get rid of them. Just talk and keep talking until the press gets here. Make me a case. A good one, you know, habeas corpus delicti. Then you can have a drink. All right, all right. How many times have you all yelled for a mouthpiece to spring you? Now shut up! It's a matter of habeas corpus, ad subjiciendum. We must establish the substantial facts in the body of the crime as the result of a criminal agency. We must have due process, courts of law, evidence, all the evidence. Can you state under oath that my client is the man who committed these grievous acts? He's the one! What did the blind man say? I wish to confer with my client, if you will. Please, give me a moment with my client. Every man's got a right to see his lawyer. You gotta get rid of that guy. He's gotta disappear let the cops find him in the river. He don't deserve a lawyer. Some guys ain't got a right to law. He ain't got a right to law. Great laws for a guy like that. What have you got to say for yourself? Who are these people? Thieves, cutthroats, and racketeers. A jury of your peers. I knew, I, I knew I'd be caught. I knew I'd have to be punished. And, and I wanted to be. But I thought it'd be the police. Then why'd you run away? I was afraid. You're always afraid when the time comes. You want to plead guilty? Claim extenuating circumstances? Oh, no, I'm not guilty. Not the way you think. And I've thought about it a lot. Maybe too much. Can you understand that? You seem to be a man who worries about things, too. You drink too much, don't you? Yes. Maybe you'd better talk for yourself. I'm in no shape. Come on, quit stalling. Come on, come on. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I've asked my client to tell you his story in his own words. <laughs> I've got to have a drink. Let him talk. Every man's entitled to his day in court. So don't get a drink until it's over. I knew I'd be caught. That's what I wanted, my day in court, but I thought about a law court. But this will have to do. You see, I've... I've discovered something very important. Very important for everybody to know. I haven't got it all figured out yet. I can't put all my fingers, can't put all pieces together yet, but it's, it's too important. People gotta listen. See, my, my mother, my mother always told me that, that and this has took me a while to figure out, but my mother said that men are born evil and, and cruel and awful. Not just all people, but men. Men are, are born evil and low, and that's the hardest thing there is for a man to fight against. That's, that's the hardest thing there is for a man. You have to be hurt. You have to be punished in order to be good. You have to be whipped and tortured and crucified in order to, to understand. She, she, she's a good woman, and beautiful. Her hands are gentle crossed on her breast. Why should she suffer? Why should she of all women when... You see, that's what I never understood. This is important, this part, when I, I stole the blanket for her. She, she knew I was trying to be good, but she made me take a blanket back to the sheriff. It was only at the county farm I really understood. I found a bird. I was like birds. That broken wing, and, and I, I nursed it. And then when it was almost well and it wanted to fly away and I thought about it escaping, I remembered it was a world of men a bird would fly into. Ugly and cruel. Too ugly and cruel for birds and children, so I knew I had to kill the children. The bird. I had to kill a bird. So I'd be punished and kept on the farm. Now do you see? It, 
It's been cold this winter, too, while I was looking for work. There are many things I could do if I could only get this figured out. If they, if they don't hang me by the neck, I may have time to figure it out at the county farm. The county farm? Hanged by the neck until... My father should have been hanged for the things he did. She said so. When I think of the vile, horrible, ugly, cruel things I have to do in order to be punished, I don't want to do them. I don't want to, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. <laughs> Your indulgence, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. I crave your indulgence, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I have a very important case waiting. I'm as anxious to have done with this as you. I have a very important case waiting. A case of scotch. Well, by his own words, my client was a good boy. Good to his mother. Mother? You never had a kid. If you want to know how it feels, ask me, I'll tell you. Ask the mothers of the kids he killed. What else is there in this life but our kids? What's to look forward to unless they grow up better than us? Well, will killing him help your children to grow up any better or any different from you or him or me? That's telling him, Counselor. My client wanted to be good. He's our crime. Give me a roll. Oh, he's a monster. My client. My client was a man. Of... Call that a man? Yes. No. No. You're right. He's no man. No will. No reason. No sight. Blind. Blind. Stumbling in a world in which he couldn't see his way. Well, do you lynch a blind man because he can't see? Do you kill a man like this? Or imprison him, or do you put him in an institution? Have we as good an excuse? What of our own guilt? What of the pennies and nickels and dimes stolen from the poor? Children's lunch money that goes into our slot machines, workmen's rent that's bet on horses. How many children have gone hungry and without food because of us? Don't be a philosopher, Langley. Be funny, make them laugh. My client, my client is a drunkard. He wanted to be a lawyer, to defend the innocent and punish the guilty. Make him laugh, Langley. Who offered him his first bribe? I'm telling you, watch the talk. Who broke his faith and his will to refuse? Either talk my way or shut up. Who gave him a drink to forget what he did? All right, so forget it. You're no lawyer, you're a clown, a drunken clown. My, Make him laugh. My client was a child once with great and many hopes for the future. I can't help thinking, where are the killers? Who killed our children's hopes? I killed him, I killed him, I told you I killed him. Punish me, I want to be punished. He wants to be punished. He kill wants me, to be punished. Get it over with. Langley. Let's get it over with. Why not? Life's too much for him. No. He can't understand it. No, no. Well, we can't understand it. it. Let's, Let's get it over with. Let's get it over with. Go ahead and have a drink. Could be a murder rap after all, couldn't it, boss? He was a good man. He's been punished, now it's my turn. No, no, you've got the wrong man. No, no, wrong, this is wrong, wrong, wrong! <laughs> 